guys and welcome back to my channel or hi for the first time if you've not been here before. So today, and I know I'm a little bit late on this one, I'm going to be going through what I got in this month's treasure chest box. Now this one I think I've had the most questions about um, because it is packed full of Shea Moisture goodies. Even see, yeah, lots of Shea Moisture. Now, Shea Moisture has been one of my favourite brands for ages. One that I always go back to if I decide to branch out and try new things, I always end up back to Shea Moisture. So, first, we got the shampoo from the Jamaican Black Castor Oil range just in time for wash day so it's Jamaican black castor oil strengthen and restore shampoo with peppermint apple cider vinegar which I don't know if you've done apple cider vinegar rinses before but they leave your hair feeling amazing so I haven't opened this yet so it actually smells, it smells okay actually but it is a really thick consistency which, I don't know, love shampoo. Um, but I did use this before and I'm not going to tell lies to people, I didn't like the shampoo. Um, I did think it dried my hair out and I did end up giving it to my sister. However, that was a while ago and if you follow me on Instagram you'll see I'm always willing to try things that haven't worked for me again and again just because your hair changes over time, your hair changes with the different seasons and the different weather, so I'm happily going to give this one a go again. So it says it's for natural, chemically processed, colour treated or heat styled hair and it is sulphate free and colour safe which is a plus. So that was that. The next thing was the hair mask. I've used before and the same ingredients listed on the front so it's with shea butter, peppermint and keratin for natural chemically processed colour treated or heat styled hair. This is one of my favourite hair masks. Um, I haven't used this one. You can see. Um, this always leaves my hair feeling so soft and shiny and easy to manage for days like wash day lasts longer when I've used this mask um, so I'm really excited to have this back in my collection again because I have run out so yay and next one is a styling lotion again from the Drake and Black Castor Oil styling range yeah again same ingredients on the front and this says this precious oil based lotion protects while restoring moisture shine to dull damaged or chemically processed hair perfect for those who regularly colour straight and perm or heat style their hair as well as kinky curly and wavy natural styles nutrient rich Jamaican black castor oil certified organic shea butter and stimulating peppermint combined in an ultra moisturising formula to protect against the damaging effects of high heat styling while increasing hair's resistance to breakage. Hair grows strong and healthy. Someone suggested this to me once on Instagram um, to try it and I tried it and it wasn't anything special, anything to rave about. It did make my hair moisturised a lot. It has the same smell as the rest of them. Um, but. What I found is it didn't do anything for frizz, so if frizz is an issue that your hair has, and mind of this top back section here is just my frizziest section, um, I don't feel that this did anything to help combat frizz. Which is a shame, because I liked it for everything else, but that being said, it does mix well with other products, so you can put 
your gels on top. Um, I've tried three or four different types of gel on top of this and they all mixed in absolutely fine. So, yeah. and the last one is probably one of the more talked about ones and someone did ask me to do a blog post about this one because I've mentioned it on my blog before but the formula was changed so you haven't guessed it by now it's the leave-in conditioner so many people have been talking about this one so basically this was my staple product um, it was the one product I used constantly and I'd run out and get it as soon as it ran out and I'd talk about it all the time and get people using it and stuff like that um, and then I stopped using it for a while um, just because I was trying out new things there's nothing wrong with it um, I still had a bottle and a half on my shelf because I just can't not have it um, and then I started seeing things about Shea Moisture changing their formula in some of their products the Jamaican Black Castor Oil range is probably the only Shea Moisture range that I actually like the majority of the products from, um, mainly because of this leave-in, but it wasn't until I got this one in my Treasure Chest box that I realised, wait, this is not the leave-in that I've been in love with for so long and not believing that I started my hair journey using the first thing that gave it away was the colour the other one had a different colour um, I don't even know how to describe it, it was just more a little darker, less creamy um, this one is very bright and um, the second thing I I washed my hair and then I used the half a bottle that I had left on my shelf. So I did one side of my hair with this one and I was like, oh yeah, I remember how much I liked this now. I'm so excited I've got another bottle to use. And then I opened this one to do the other side of my hair. And it's so much thicker. Like, I used to be able to pour and it would drip out. It was that watery. Um, and I think when I gave some to my younger sister, I literally poured some into a tub for her. This one is more of a cream than liquid. Um, so straight away I stopped. I just paused for a minute. Um, I was like, what is going on? What, what am I putting in my hair? So I checked my tub um, that I had on my shelf. And I checked the tub that I got in my treasure chest box. Um, I couldn't notice any actual changes. They both said the same thing on the top. They both had all the same ingredients in them. So then I had to go in my stash that I just cleared out of where I had another bottle that was empty but it, you know, I hoarded it. Um, and I noticed a change in the name. So the other one had the word grow in here as well, not just strengthen and restore. And this one doesn't. Um, and I think I think that was the only other thing I really noticed and um, so I took this to Instagram so I did a post asking has this changed has anyone else noticed this is it a new thing um, how has it affected your hair and I got so many responses and most of them were oh it changed ages ago it's not as good anymore I won't use it anymore um, a few were saying, yeah, they changed the formula across the whole brand, so everything's different. Um, and again, they said the hair just didn't feel the same as the old formula. Um, so I was, I was really wary about using it. But, thankfully, I feel like, for me, the results are the same. I've used the Styling Lotion and the Leave-In Conditioner today on my hair and this is day five hair and um, I just wet it with a little bit of water this morning and the Shea Moisture products and I'm you know 
I have no issues with this new formula at all, thankfully. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to do a full wash day and use the treatment mask again because it's amazing. Um, like it's just my favourite. So I'm really excited that they picked the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil range to be in this month's Treasure Trust box. It's the brand that started my hair journey when I didn't have a clue what to put in my hair and how to manage my hair. And I was just walking around like a frizz bottom. Um, this was the first product range that turned my life around and got my hair to begin this journey that I'm still on and I still have a lot to learn on but I'm a lot further than what was before and it is thanks to the Shea Moisture Drinking Black Castor Oil range so I am really happy with this month's Treasure Trust box and I cannot wait to see what is in next month's so have another look at the products again To sign up for your treasure chest box, just click on the link which I will post below or you can head straight to their Instagram page and follow the link in their bio. Um, each of these products I think retails at between, depends if you get it on offer, so I'd say between eight and eleven pound maybe for each one. So there's four products in this. And so I can balance them all. So there is four full-sized products I might add as well. I know there's some boxes where you get samples instead of actual full ones. So they're full-size products. And it cost £20 a month and then I think it was £3 for postage. So really, you'd get just them two for that price. You're getting an extra two full-size products. And if you follow my Instagram, you'll see that I've been getting this for a while now. And I don't think there's been a single box that I've not been over the moon with. I've been reintroduced to brands that I sort of drifted away from in my journey to try out everything and becoming a product junkie. I should probably get help for that. Um, you know, brands like Shea Moisture, like Cantu, um, like the Grow Healthy range, all these brands that you sort of forget about and Treasure Trust for me is just bringing back those brands to me without me having to go out and spend a fortune to get hold of them. I can get four of them for £20 a month. So, yeah. So that's this month's Treasure Trust box. Um, yeah, if you check out my Instagram, there is a code where you can save yourself some money on your first box. So let me know what you thought of this month's box. Let me know what you think of the Shea Moisture Changing Formula as well. I'm really curious about how it's how the changes have affected everyone's hair because everyone's different than me. Not everyone has the same hair type. Not everyone's hair reacts to the same stuff the same way. So yeah, let me know. Thanks for watching.